Hello YouTube, Gbo Unit here, and I've got a range report video for my Sig Pro SP2340. Um, I wanted to do a video because I uh, on this one because I did get some requests to do a range report for that one. Because um, I did, you know, if you watch my other videos, I did a range report for the Ruger Mark III Standard and 22 Long Rifle. So anyway, I thought that was a great idea to do that too. I mean, I was so excited about the 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 Ruger uh, and I did a range report on that and you know it was you know it only seemed natural to do it on my other handgun so anyway without further ado if you haven't seen my video on the Sig Pro SP2340 cleaning and disassembly this is what it looks like okay it is polymer framed it's got two grips came with uh, two uh, magazines and um, also wanted to show that the gun is empty it, it seems to be a prevalent um, thing to do on gun videos is everyone to show that the gun is empty so and I do have my finger outside the trigger guard never put it inside the trigger guard unless you acquire your target and are ready to shoot so anyway okay nothing nothing up the sleeve presto all right. Okay, so this thing fired pretty nice. I mean, there, there wasn't a whole lot of recoil. Of course, you know, when I first shot it, you know, here I am with this not quite a death grip, but you know, gripping it because I, you know, I don't know what the kick is like, and it's a polymer gun, and so it's lighter, it's top heavy. Is it going to flip out of my hand? You know, whatever. So, so uh, you know, I, you know had some bit of a death grip but now that I know what it's like I know exactly how to grip it you know so um, it's pretty good oh also an accessory that I got is a polymer hol holster and I got this at a gun show uh, Crossroads of the West and of course you know that the price jumps up because of that little bit of writing right there that says Sig Sauer so costed a lot more but this is a holster from iTac it's polymer as well I don't know if you can see that but it's iTac oh wait let me see hold on a second here does that make it any better I don't know it's iTac so anyway um, so there's my holster and it's a really nice one too I, I like it and um, um, it's real easy to, to manipulate you know, it's got the, the trigger lock here and holds it in pretty well. Um, also with it, I have my polymer, um, you know, magazine holder. And this is not iTac. It's uh, RSR Defense. So, there you go. Oh, you can get it a little closer. Okay. So that's it right there. And, and yeah, they're both loaded. So because you never know okay always have that with me all right so um, anyway I um, wanted to do, do a range report so I went to iron sights in Oceanside and uh, I practiced at 7 10 and 15 yards so um, I didn't practice any further away than that because you know with a handgun you're gonna have your firefights or whatever I mean for my purposes of self-defense or whatever uh, I don't think I'm gonna be firing away at people more than 15, 20 yards, um, you know, depending on the situation. But um, um, but an interesting note about uh, the 7, 10, 15 yards, uh, at the range, it's there's a specific line for 7 yards, 10 yards, 15 yards, 20 yards. And 7 is an odd number because, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25, you know, they're multiples of five. So I always wondered why seven? Because even on the walls where they have the lines, it says seven yards, 10 yards, 15 yards. So any of you guys who know if you can confirm or debunk this, uh, I was talking with a guy and uh, he was talking about, you know, target shooting and guns in general. And he had talked about how Statistically, um, most of your gun fights are at 20 feet. Okay, and so what they do, what what he's 
been taught or what he has taught himself, because he evidently did both, um, that um, law enforcement, um, law enforcement or whatnot, they they practice at 20 feet plus one, and the plus one is, I guess, practice a little further away that you know, one foot longer than the than the average firefight. So, um, so then it clicked in my head that. Oh, well, wait a minute. That's, you know, seven yards equals 21 feet. So there's your 20 plus one. So I don't know how true it is, but, you know, it was very interesting that he would talk about that. And we weren't even talking about my gun range or seven yards or, you know, distances. We weren't talking anything about that. He just happened to bring that up as a random piece of conversation. So I thought that uh, when I linked the two together, I thought it was pretty cool. So anyway... Okay, enough of that range report. So, I made um, some, you know, my own little silhouette targets. So, if you see right here, the the little targets there, I cut those out of a cardboard box. Basically, I got the idea from Safe Farms Review. I, I laid down on a on a on a piece of cardboard and took a pen, basically traced myself out, and then I cut it out with a knife, and then I used 99 cent, you know, uh, black spray paint. And sprayed it on easel board paper and instant targets so and the cost of those are like 50 cents or under you know um, when you make a bunch of targets and it's a lot better than spending two bucks at you know at the range it can add up when you want to shoot and shoot and shoot so so anyway let me put this away I'll go ahead and show the targets so let me get my high-tech camera and video set up here all right okay here we go so here we go at seven yards okay at seven yards here um, basically I did some shots where I, I aimed her at the head and I you know aimed at the chest area and so okay look the groups are big okay they're not they're not you know three inch groups and I'm not worried about that my main purpose is to worry about hitting center mass okay and okay you got a few here you know if I was shooting at a football player I think these shots would would matter right here the ones outside you know that's a huge neck but uh, anyway there there it is you know it's seven yards not too bad okay now this one kinda makes me laugh when I look at it cuz here's my target obviously was the head I didn't aim anywhere for the chest so there's nothing there so uh, I was kind of pleased with this one because I could hit, you know, a smaller area and hit it with some accuracy. So the groupings are a lot better. Uh, of course, you got some misses here, right here, um, shoulder shot here. But, you know, basically I can get a target in, in the head. Okay. So here we go at 15 yards. This one's kind of interesting because, oh, get the camera here. This one's kind of interesting because if you notice, you know, it's 15 yard. I got some here at the head, got some here at the chest. And the thing that's real important about about this particular target is that notice that most of the bullets are in center line, okay? Not out here and out here, you know, spread out. It's basically center line, if you can imagine that. And what's great about that is... Um, I, I know that if I acquire a target, I'm going to hit, you know, generally the center of something. And that's what's important because if you have stray shots, you'll hit an arm, miss, you know, um, and not hit anything vital. And your assailant can still advance and harm you. Okay. So I thought that this was really good that I was able to get center line. So the last target is this target and I marked it to 10 yards oops sorry I did mark 10 yards instead of 25 and if you notice the groupings are pretty good you know 10 yards mostly it's it's within the circle okay I got one out here because this was my first shot I anticipated a kick but then eventually got it together and got you know my uh, you know my groupings in here so you know not too bad most of it was you know um, in the black you know of course I had quite a few in the seven and eight ring um, 
uh, and the, even one in the six ring here. But you know, in general, not too bad there. So anyway, let me get this camera reset. Okay. All right. So anyway, hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, basically, like I said, unless you're a professional or a target shooter or something, I mean, these these targets, these groupings are, are not good. They're not that good at all. But, you know, my purpose is not to be a target shooter. Um, and, uh, you know, police work or, you know, it's, it's not my, that's not my, uh, uh, it's not my living. Uh, what I want to do is I want to be able to defend myself. And if I have to, if I acquire a target, that I'm able to hit that target. Okay. Granted, none of these were moving, of course, but it's good to know that you can hit a target and you can adjust as the target moves around. But usually, if they're coming straight at you, um, it's basically like shooting a silhouette. Acquire the target, bang, bang, bang. Okay. And uh, as long as I can hit a target, that's fine. You know, like I said in my other. Uh, range report for the Mark III standard. I like to hit a target about that big. If I can hit something about that big, you know, consistently, if I hit center mass, I'm gonna do enough damage to stop an assailant. So, so anyway, that's my range report. Hope you like that, and uh, I will have other reports uh, to give um, later when I actually am able to go shooting, but. Uh, I also got a couple of other video requests to do a couple of things, so I will have those up um, in the future, okay? So anyway, take care and always be safe.